how mom and pop companies could be globalized. And that means that the threat model that businesses faced began to more closely resemble the threat model that PGP was originally designed for. Namely, a resourceful opponent, the, the major governments. Uh, and so, um, so we was already designed for that. And, 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 then, and when the criminal investigation ended, I, I guess I should say that maybe, it's, I guess it's possible that some of you here might not be aware of this, but when I published PGP in 1991, it, it kind of set off a reaction from the government. And I became the target of a three-year criminal investigation. They tried to put me in the slammer for 41 months or 51 months, according to the federal mandatory sentencing guidelines. Um, and so I had to have a legal defense team and a legal defense fund. And so for three years, I did daily press interviews at first, my legal defense team didn't want me to talk to the press because that's generally how you conduct the criminal defense. But I was convinced that it would help us if I did talk to the press. So I did, every day for three years. And it worked. Well, maybe a few things worked. Having a good legal defense team worked. Um, they dropped the case three years later without a type. Uh, and then I started a company, PGP um, I would have started it earlier, but you really can't raise venture capital when you're the target of a criminal investigation. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, after a, a couple of years, the company ran out of money and was sold to Network Associates. They had it for a few years, but they didn't really know how to sell PGP. In fact, they didn't actually know how to spell PGP. <laughs> um, so they they weren't very successful with it. And so a new startup was formed, PGP Corporation, started largely by the same people that were that used to work for me in PGP Inc. They bought the assets from Network Associates and started a company that was much more successful at selling PGP because that's all they sold. They didn't sell hundreds of products like Network Associates. So that ran for eight years, and then, and then it was finally sold to Symantec last year. So PGP is now in the hands of its fifth owner. Um, but Symantec is a really big company and has a very large number of products. And so I'm not sure if they really understand what they bought. Um, but I guess, but at least, I mean, they're, they're a regular company. They're, they're, they're better than network associates. Uh, but I don't really have much to do with PGP anymore. In the last five or six years, I guess six years, I've been working on a new project for Secure VoIP, Voice Over IP. 